inception to present day. I hope you will enjoy and appreciate that. Indeed, the venue for this event could not be more appropriate. Being located in a situation country, the Kampala Field Office has experienced the Rome Statue system in its full life. These walls have heard some of the most horrendous uh, stories. But they have also seen signs of hope for those looking forward to uh, closing some unpleasant chapters and opening new ones. I'm therefore very pleased to see this extraordinary exhibition in offices that carry their own story and legacy. Uh, I've also worked in the field uh, in my own experience and uh, I can uh, quickly grasp how on occasion one feels so distant from headquarters and one feels uh, so misunderstood. Uh, that is normal. What isn't normal is that your signature commitment to the higher ideals, not always obvious to you if your work is rather normal or regular, and nevertheless the nobility of your purpose and uh, the objectives that you try and pursue will remain, uh, will create uh, in uh, us this uh, deep gratitude. Uh, when Dag Hammarskjöld, the second Secretary General, uh, was killed, uh, not far away actually, in, in the, of course then uh, Congo, Belgian Congo, uh, the chaplain at his funeral uh, and to paraphrase him, uh, said, it is at these moments we often ask ourselves, uh, what is it all for, why, what is the purpose uh, for our existence? And then he uttered uh, some uh, very eloquent words. He said, uh, in the final analysis, the answer is uh, startlingly, stunningly simple and self-restrained. Uh, the answer is service, service with love, to those near and far and service to mankind. And I think all of those who work here uh, fulfill that particular aim most nobly, and we thank them for it. And thank you so much. So I would like to thank the, the registry for, for organizing uh, this evening. And I just wanted to say to the, to the staff of the field office, I think, I hope, that you feel that this is an evening uh, for you. I know you must feel sometimes uh, misunderstood or very far away from the people that you think you're working for. Um, and I hope that this makes you feel good and that you get something out of this evening. We certainly will. Um, and always remember, and this is something that actually I never thought before I came here, but uh, believe it or not, but in many ways you really are the face of the court because you are the daily reality of the court. You are the people that speak 
on a daily basis with victims and with the, the authorities and with the UN. And this is why what you're doing is so enormously important. And I would like to thank you all for that on behalf of all states parties. Thanks so much. Kampala forms the, the perfect setting for a photo exhibition showing the development of the court. Photo exhibitions such as this, but also documentaries, books, internet, and radio, all help to bring the court's activities closer to the communities affected. The exhibition shows how the court transformed from an idea on paper in 1998 to a fully operational institution today, executing its judicial mandate and far exceeding ex expectations. Upon recognition that the old tools to stop violence and conflicts, amnesties or golden exiles for dictators, sharing of power with massive criminals did not work, we have established a set of rules to enhance calculability with a new legal framework, transparent and predictable to create certainty of punishment for the most serious crimes of concern to the international community as a whole. Mr. President of the court, and former president of the court, President Pirsch, president of the ASP, Excellency Benavessa, the pre uh, first president of the ASP, Excellency Prince Said, many authorities that I see here, and uh, I'm put to myself a question. Our office like this can uh, attract so high authorities. And maybe you can share with me the answer that I will grant. This big project of the International Criminal Justice starts here, because it is here that the crimes, international crimes have been committed. It's here where we have to operate. It's here where we can fail or succeed. I will please uh, dedicate to my staff, the staff of the field offices, uh, and applaud, uh, applauding them with me. Thank you very much, Madam Registrar. Um, with these uh, final words, um, I presume we can uh, now declare the uh, photo exhibition open.